Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to do a um, quick video, well at least I try to be quick, for new players for Crowfall that are players that are usually do not know how to start, what to do and what the goal is. So that's why I'm making this video, so I can give you guys a little insight on what and where. Uh, Crowfall is basically a MMO RPG that you can actually win and I will go further into that but first um, depending on what you prefer you can either choose like which package you want like you can either go for the uh, the starter one or so on depending on which one you choose if you are in a guild or if you join a guild before you purchase this you might get a discount, but however, I can't guarantee that because I do not know how long it will last. So after you selected this and you purchased it and you download it, it will look something similar to this once you open it. You click the launcher and then a new window will appear. You log in with your details and then you press the next button and you will not see that screen, unfortunately, because it just doesn't show up. So this will be the first screen that you will see, and I'm not talking about the black screen, well you probably see that as well, but this is the first screen, this is the uh, pre-alpha world, the 5.5 patch, keep in mind this is still a pre-alpha game and is still in development, so you can expect some bugs, <coughs> and so on, and depending on which uh, which package you purchase, you might get a little extra button right here in this area, just underneath this one, and then you can claim your items. If you do have items to claim, I would recommend starting up your personal kingdom first and build your stuff in there. But <coughs> if you do not have any items, I guess you could go to the world environment but before doing that i would recommend going to your skills and professions first and select what you want to do you either want to go full combat or crafting or exploring and if you have vip you might get an extra slot to train if you do not you only have one so keep that in mind the vip will allow you to train both at the same time but you can do without. So depending on your choice, either combat, craft, or explore, you can focus your stuff on that. For example, if you are a pure PvPer, then go for combat and start training your abilities right here. And this is not character bound, this is for all your characters that you train. Okay, the next one, crafting. If you are more like a crafting person, and yes, I already have something researched in here, you will start crafting and researching this stuff first. And depending on which type you wanna craft, because it will take you some time to unlock this. For an example, the runes, you want to make room tools and so on, you will try to get this one unlocked as fast as possible, which will allow you to unlock the room crafting table, which you can research and start making room tools. I'll go deeper into that later. You can also do the skills later on if you want, but I would recommend starting this as fast as possible because it will take some time. If your skill is done, you will start collecting time in your time bank. Depending if you have PV, 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 bleh, if you have a VIP, like the VIP, you can store up more time. If you do not have VIP, it should be about 24 hours stored time that you can use if you have it collected. So Explorer is more for the people that explore and start farming. Uh, so if you are more into like gathering stuff, I would definitely recommend the exploring exploration tree. And I would definitely recommend to get the survival first for food and cooking, which is pretty handy. Once you got all that researched, you can go into specific. 
such as mining or logging, depending on what you prefer. And then you also have race. If you're not quite sure about this, I would still research this to start with because it's shared on all your characters as well. And once you've figured out which character you want to play, you can go even further and do a specific research for that class, which you can find in these over here. <coughs> My apologies. So that's the first step. Once you've done that, you can choose the world depending on which campaign you want. There are multiple campaigns, as you can see. I will pick for this purpose, for this video, I will pick a new one on the United States server to show you what you can expect. And yes, my MS is really high and I really should go to the EU. Um, you know what, I'm going for the EU. So now you will choose your character and its looks and type in the character name and then you choose a faction. Keep in mind, you will not be able to change the faction later on into the game. You can change your character later. However, once you start a new campaign or start in a different campaign, you can choose another faction. And those factions are completely separate from all the others. So this is your local bank where you can store your items. And another tip, if you die, you will lose all your items that are in this box. So try to store as much in your local bank as possible. Then if you press the I on your keyboard, you will open up your inventory as well. And here we have the crafting, your spirit bank, and I already have some items in here, which I will go into later. And here we have the skill. You can literally drag where you want your abilities. It's completely customizable and depending on what you choose, you can put it in any bar you want. And I will go further into this in detail later. So now to get started, you will need to collect at least a minimum of free wood in order to craft your first axe under the basic crafting tools. Once you got some more wood, you can collect some other resources as well. You will need wood, stone and ore. You will also require to craft some more tools, which I will show you here real quick. And you will equip them as well and then you can start mining. Uh, Axe is for wood, a hammer is for stone, and the pickaxe is for ore, which you will be notified by the amount of damage. Like the rocks are just normal stones and the ore rocks are with lines in them. So once we have collected enough resources, we can continue. So there we go. We should have enough resources now to start crafting. So the first thing that I would recommend doing is make your choice on your runes. This may change later on in the game. So for me personally, I am a harvester, so I am going to the harvesting runes. And I will start with the logging. This require one ore and some dust. Which will allow us to get more loot. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will also go for skinning to get more loot from the boards. Now for the last one, I'm going for shield master. Feel free to choose anything else that you prefer. You can also go sword master or whatever, depending on your choice. You will be able to see underneath here if you're able to use it or not. And I should have gone for shield, but I guess I can use the sword as well. So we still have enough resources to make a sword, if I'm not mistaken. So we go to the basic weapons. And we go for the one-handed sword. It requires wood and stone. 
and I'm not sure if I can make the shield as well. And I think I need a little bit more wood. There we go. And for the all the other armor, you will need some more resources. And I will show you the place where to craft it. And also we go back to the ability tree because we got our runes now. We get some extra abilities here as well. So we're gonna drag those in. And we also have some extra abilities here, but since I'm not familiar with the sword, I'm gonna leave it as it is. At this point, I did not realize that they removed the tables, so I will not be able to show you this. If you have the resources for it, you can craft one of these tables, and you can go and craft the intermediate table right here. You will need 50 dust, six stone, six ore and six wood in order to craft this station and you can place it in your personal kingdom which I will show you in a bit and I also need to craft a skinning knife everything that you basically need can be found in the starting area or in your personal kingdom except for the boards so to get you started, I would recommend to go to the campaign mode, get some resources, so you can get started. And here you can find the boars. These are level 1 monsters, so you should be able to kill them. and press back to the harvesting to loot them and can skin them straight away once you equip your skinning knife and you will be able to skin them and since we have the rune for it we get more loot out of them and the gold can be used for vendors if people set them up or not So now we got some leather as well. So now you should be able to get out there and do some stuff. However, I would definitely recommend to store your stuff that you don't necessarily need into your local bank. So if you get killed that you won't lose the stuff that you just gathered. And most of the good stuff such as proper ore, such as iron, tin, gold, silver, and so on, can be found in the campaign mode. Also, the food, such as meat, will be and hide will be only in the campaign modes. Now, here's the local bank. You simply deposit stuff that you don't necessarily need to bring along. And now you're ready to head the world. Now at this point I couldn't remember where the crypt was located, but you should be able to find it just outside of the wall that looks like a little cave. Other than that, all the non-basic materials can be farmed in the campaign mode and the basic materials can be farmed anywhere, such as not wood. And then this is the uh, personal kingdom and if you have pieces of land you can alter that in your personal kingdom or you can craft that as well you can either purchase it on their store or you can craft it yourself and use it for your personal kingdom so eventually when you crafted your tables I crafted the rune crafting table and if you have this unlocked and research you will get an additional item here which will allow you to craft better tools, such as the harvesting tools, and it requires some resources as well. So, for an example, if you want to like make the recipe for the axe, you will need a paper and two ore. Now, there is a slight trick to this, which I will reveal. 
you could use basic material, but if you use specifically iron and tin, your paper will be turning like silver with or white with black. And it will give you an additional ability. If you only use basic materials such as uh, just ore, just non like a basic material, you will get just a normal paper and you only get durability on it. But if you use tin and iron, you will get an additional stat on your paper. And depending on which quality materials you use, you will get extra stats as well. Now, you're also going to need a stone. So you will need free stone in order to craft that stone. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the materials in my bank. And since this is my personal kingdom, I will be able to in and export as much as I want. But as I said, since I do not have the items for it, I can't really do much. But you can farm that anywhere. So, building. If you have items, the way that you can use the building is simply by clicking on the item and a new grid will appear. You can turn around the buildings to make your own fort if you have it either crafted or purchased in your bundle. So now we build a wall. And you can keep doing that until you have an entire fort. I am not going to do it right now. And this all may change. Like the new, uh, the new items aren't in yet for the personal kingdom. You will also be able to put vendors and rent out the space. Such as this house. You can rent it out to a friend. And your friend will be able to use this house to do as he pleases. And you will get tax money for it as well. He can put in vendors or other people can put vendors here as well if you rent out the space for them. Unfortunately, it isn't in the game yet or I haven't been able to test it so far because I haven't gone on so far yet. But that's how you basically get started. That's all the basic needs that you need to know for now. So now you're ready to hit out the world and good luck.